Hey, what's up everyone? How are you all doing today? Welcome to episode 10 of our Let's Play series of Adeptus Mechanicus with a Heretic DLC. Quite chuffed to be on episode 10 already. It feels pretty cool. I hope you've all been enjoying the content so far. Uh, give us a comment, let us know what you think and whether it's positive or negative. We're, we're all up for the old constructive criticism and not nonsense. Right, so we got 910 Blackstone. That's quite a bit. We did good on the last one. So let's see what we can get into with our guys. Check. So what's our ranks at? We've got rank 8, rank 8, rank 7. So let's give Anarius one first. Avoid all opportunity attacks. This is going to be a real good one. We can get ourselves in and out of combat without getting our butts kicked. So it's given us another augment slot. Oh, we did get an extra curatio. Yeah, with the bigger healing powers. Shall we do that? Or should we get the stabby stick in? Hmm. Ah, let's play it safe for my own. Let's get the extra healing. Keep our guys going. So, let's give someone else an upgrade as well. So he's got... Yeah, we want we want to get this upgraded Croatia on as many of these guys as we can. Heals one target for free HP. Yes, please. So this guy is going to be our, our medic healer chap. Cool. Give Jeremiah an upgrade as well. So what we got for this guy? I think he's going to be a like long range shooter, isn't he? So that's gets a physical armor. That sort of handy. Um, I think we'll go with this one for now as we want to keep working down this tree. We're going to start specialising our guys a little bit more. Uh, what are we going to go for? Man? Let's do the same thing. Let's give him the upgrade Croatia Claw. There we go. Now we've all got slightly better healing. We haven't got enough to give any more upgrades now, so that's pretty good. I think we're all on 9 now. Eight. Yeah, so one's on 8, two are on 9. That's pretty good going. Right, missions should be a new one here from Scaviola, I think. Gamma Pistol, Ranger Alpha, 108 Blackstone. Oh no, this is a new one, isn't it? Flesh Harvest, lovely. Better Power Axe, better Refractor Field Generator. Some nice Blackstone. I think we've seen all of these, haven't we? We have to start knocking some of them out though, I think, really, aren't we? That's a different curatio. I'm tempted to do this one to get the bigger axe. What's that? Gamma pistol. Mm. I think we're going to go with Videx. Get the better axe and a better refractor field generator. Still only three slots. That might. Should I? Oh, no, no. Gotta, gotta keep our fodder in there at the moment. I know we've unlocked some more canticles recently, but I'm actually quite happy with ones we've got for the moment. The loose tongues of our soldiers are as guns in the hands of our enemies. He's always got something cool to say. There's lots of talk of flayed ones here. So I think we're probably going to get swamped by them. Okay, flesh harvest. Let's do it. One diamond, two diamond. Yes, we still got two. So, what do we do first? That's one. Come back on the second. I think we'll go up this way. So we got a glyph room. 
on one of these rooms to try and get some CP or Blackstone from before our first bit of combat. And I think we'll probably backtrack and come down this way, possibly. I don't know, we'll see. A couple of flayed corpses lay in this chamber, probably the remains of the fallen Skatara unit. The bodies might provide clues as to where the target flayed-born pack went. Curiosity, examine the corpses for clues. Caution, search the chamber for any traps or ambushes. Compassion, pray for the souls of the dead, then burn the bodies. We do normally like a bit of flame, but I'm sure there's something we can learn from this. Examine corpses or search chamber. I'm going to search chamber. I don't like the idea of the booby traps. The cohort's caution is justified when they find the corpses have been trapped with the Skatara unit's grenades. The improvised traps suggest the flayed ones are more cunning and adaptable than first suspected. The booby trap is dis dismantled cohort leaves the bodies behind. Of course we've got two CP and this Infestus Mechanderite. I've not seen this before. Single target. Ah, oh, it's an upgraded version of the stabby stick. Cool. Well, we've got two CP at the end of it, so that's, that's not too bad. It looks like we've now got, what, four, five, six, seven. Survive five rounds. Blimey, we're probably going to be chucking quite a few flayed ones out. So, yeah, look at all of them. I've also got some four scanning terminals, so that's going to give us some temptation, isn't it? Right. What way do we go? What way do we go? I think we're just going to try and get more going up the same direction, I think. Back each other up. I think if we try and split two different sides, we're gonna. God. Yeah, I've only got three guys. I could, I could have got some support, I guess, but I don't want to use those the pressure two CP we've got. So we're gonna have to move quite a bit to get into combat with these guys. Oh, I am gonna do my darnest to work them down a bit before we get there. Gonna use one CP here, but it's gonna get us these two cog points, so we'll be one up. Um, and I think we'll use our bubble just so these guys can have a little bit of safe harbor if they need it. So that's free, but that will reduce it by two, so it'll only cost one. It's going to cost me one to move in. Right, let's see if this works. I'm kind of hoping I can use this melee gun here and it's going to attack more than one, but it's only going to get him. Oh well. Looks like it's going to kill this one up the front. So that's still not a bad result. We've still got some movement. Yep, free movement still. Let's just go and chop this one up a bit. We're already close to one of these terminals. So that's pretty cool. Cluster of them. Ooh. 
What's this one on health wise? Do we know the health of any of them? No. Okay. Pushing forward a bit. I know he's going to get absolutely done by these guys, but. Yeah, just keep them there for now. Well, quite a few of them did move already, so we might be alright. Oh, look, two more. Joy. Bring this guy in. Start just clearing that guy up, boy. Oh, he's got the stabby stick. Oh, I've got no. I've got nothing left. Should have brought back trick in it, and should I? Because I've got no servo skulls left for my guys to get um cognition points. got both of them. That's a result. It's cool. We're whittling them down a bit. We're whittling them down. Right, here's five to seven. We'll wait another turn to use that. Do him now. So he's going to get two more attacks on him. I'll just keep him there. We've only got to survive two more rounds, but I don't know whether it's going to ask us to kill them all after that or not. Oh no. That's a bit of a bugger. Oh dear. It's only our first, first encounter of this tomb and Nearly lost our vanguard guy already. That's definitely not cool. Um, ok, 
could possibly kill him. Yes, nice. Jokes. What are you getting there? Yeah, I'll go get in this guy's face and it gets us a couple of cock points. And I can now do a remote heal with this guy, that's cool. Keep a vanguard in the fight for just a little longer. And we can get another CP of our servo skull. There we go, five now, that's much better. Right, so that one's already dead. Let's try and get this one. Now he can actually get out of combat now without suffering an opportunity attack. I wonder if I can move here. Oh, look at that. Deal all kinds of damage. Should get rid of those two that were downed. Oh, I hasn't got rid of that one. That's odd. Okay. It's all good. So let's heal him. Um, can actually move now, can't we? Let's get him over here. Get a bit further towards these terminals. So that one's coming back at one time, we definitely need to get rid of that one up the top, I was going to reanimate. So, zap him, don't want him reanimating. Batter this one. Right, he can't do anything at the moment, so he's locked in melee. Oh, is he my only guy now? Kinda... Ah, oh, sod it. Let's see what happens. Three. He's hanging in there. Get one of these guys in. Yeah. Oh, he's going to reanimate. Bum. No. He's got a lot of health. Let's back him out of there. Yeah, he's only taken one. That's fine. Cool. That one's bent in the dust now. Keep him there. 
I'm just gonna keep through that. One. I know he's got three turns left, but I just want it gone. Now we are going to shoot that one, so that's going to come back soon. I'm going to get up here, I'm going to get some blackstone. I think we're going to try and go towards blowing one of his up a little bit. So our fancy melee gun is all charged now, so that's going to be free. Cool, blew one up. Let's see if we can have similar luck with the other one. Yeah, that's gone. Brilliant. We've got two lots of blackstone from that. I knocked our awakening down quite a bit, which is brilliant. Right, we've still got five CPs, so let's get down into this one as well. It's in theory, we've only got this last round to survive, and then it might just say that we're done, or it might want us to kill all enemies. Let's save the CP, get a reducer on. Yes, that one's going to reanimate in two, whereas this one's three. Um. Cool. It's not bad, not bad at all. What health we are on? He's on 13. Let's give him a little bit of love. Oh, there we go, all done. Nice, definitely happy that I went and got the Blackstone and destroyed those terminals while I had the chance. Now. Our Awakening's only on one. Which I don't really need to take these guys on. So I was thinking about backtracking a bit and coming this way. Because when you backtrack you don't Increase your awakening by going to the rooms you've already been in. So we could come all the way down to like that one and only move forward one, two. How far we one, two, three. yeah, so we had to go there before. I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna be a bit tactical and sneaky here. So this is our original starting position, see how we're still on just one. So now it will go up because we're going into a room we've not been in before. Seek profane knowledge and find profane fates. Ooh. An inscribed steel is just visible beneath the filth and rot encrusting the tomb. It might give some insight into the inhabitants. Fire. Remove the stick. What is it? Steel? Stell? I don't know. Remove the stell from the wall for study back on the Castus Metallican. Abandon. Leave the inscriptions alone. Knowledge can be dangerous. Knowledge of the alien, doubly so. Analyze. Take picked grabs of the inscription and run it through the cogitators on the Castus Metallican to translate it. Picked grabs. Acquire. I've kind of got the feeling that if we acquire and rip it out, it's going to be booby twapped. So, we don't want to abandon. We want to try and get any knowledge we can. So, it's good. 
pictograms reveal an inscription that Castus Metallicans cogitators can translate. Kneel to Objao, Lord Protector to the Court of Zaragon. Kneel to his rot, kneel to his transformation. All hail the disease. It seems not only the structure of the tomb of Objao has suffered from this infection, Lord Objao himself has undergone a transformation too. Ooh. Kneel to his transformation. What's going on with him then? Praetorian, the Rod of Covenant. Kill all enemies, that's more like it. Death to the Xenos. Alright, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Most of them down this end. So we want our two beefcakes down this end. I've been tucked in behind there a little bit. Now we've only got servitor fodder. Which isn't ideal. So explain to you what this guy's gonna do. Get your chop on. Now can we sneak here? We can stab him back. It's gonna knock him. Yes, so now I'm not in melee combat. I can shoot him as well. Have that. Right, something else I gotta remember. I'm on the last mission of the tomb I can use canticles and you can use them whenever you want I just like saving them for the last room in case you really need them um, let's just tuck them in there a bit got loads of points let's just get the bubble up why not um Heal myself a bit. Just top him up a squidge. Cool, so servitor. You can go around get in this guy's face. Keep him there. Use my reduce and make it a bit cheaper. Get all the way around and give this guy a chop. That's a nice, efficient round from him. 
awesome. Getting back in the bubble just in case. Cool. Next. Oh, so my bubble just disappeared like that. Right, let's use my reducer. Give this guy a, a bit of a blast before I chop him. Oh no, don't need to chop him. Brilliant. Good night. Right, got cans cool, so let's um just get in there. I've got enough points, so I'm actually gonna do some stat revealing. terminals as well. Hmm. Well, that's a bit of a waste. He's only got two health, but let's just stick him in there. That wasn't going to last long. Oh, he's got three shields, so stabby stick's not going to do it. That's unfortunate. Oh, now I can get the stabby. I was going to have to start moving this guy up towards the scan terminal, but uh, I forgot we had a, a death mark down on Overwatch. Let's get him healed up. Nice, that's quiet. We got spare points. Right. Ah, um, uh, don't take a hit. It's only a servitor. He's only got line of sight on one of my guys there. Awesome. I can't think I'm just going to leave him there because I want him to try and blow that terminal up next go. Let's 
going on here? Axe, chop, chop, chop. Oh. Mm. Normally I'd back him out and take the hit from that guy, but he's going to take the hit from that guy and the shot from the death mark. I believe him, baby. He's going to get shot and attacked by that anyway, isn't he? Yeah, I'm just going to get him out. He's going to take a bit of a hit for it, but... One... And the death mark didn't... Oh, well, I can't ask for much better than that, really, can I? What's going on here? Game's being a bit of a bugger. attack on the death mark. Now I'm going to see if I can move towards this terminal a bit. Yeah, I can get all the way in there. Let's give it a little poke. He's in melee combat now, so he'll get an opportunity attack. So it's pretty cool. So I've still got my free shot with my little blaster here. And finish off that terminal. Should bring us down to two, but with no bars. We have two with no bars. Uh, let's spend one on the healing. Let's run the last mission. We want to get these guys as healed up as possible, so we save as many CP points. Uh, Blackstone, even. into one is more like it was it yesterday's mission I think we ended up with a four so it's quite nice to be able to knock this back a bit oh she blows it's great we ended up with just the one awakening got a healthy bit of blackstone by lots of things Cool. The cohort has picked up the trail of the offending flayed one pack. It travels through an area of the tomb choked with debris where a portion of the tomb has collapsed, making direct pursuit hazardous. Demolish. Clear the area with explosives before moving through it. Diversion. Skirt around the area and avoid the danger, though at the risk of losing the trail. Defy. Forge on through the dangerous terrain. Fulfilling the mission is worth any risk. Hmm. Let's skirt around the area. I think if we demolish, we could blow more up and 
they're bargaining for. Forging on through is just daft, isn't it? So, caution profits us nothing if the enemy prevails. Yeah. Don't worry, he's happy or not that. Oh, she's not happy. But I got CP out of it, so. Mission complete. The last of the flayed ones is cut down by the cohort's weapons. This pack will no more torment the Skatari troops by clothing themselves in the skins of the dead unit. The flayed ones' remains teleport away in the cohort and incinerate the skins they leave behind, removing this moral threat for good. Very nice. He who prosecutes the alien with zeal is the ally of all mankind. Yeah. Kick alien butts. Lost to ten blackstone, that's more like it. Success. Look at that. Twenty five per cent bang on a quarter of the way now. Oh, that's a good one. We have to remember that. Lit Litany of Life restoring 15 HP. I think our current one only gives us 10. Plus 3 physical armor for one round. Nice. Cool. That was a really good result there, guys. A bit of a shorter episode than the last couple. But it's successful. We've got a whole crap ton of Blackstone now. We're going to be able to get some good upgrades going. Um, we really need to get some missions soon where we can increase our deployment slots. That's what we really need now. So we've got our cog gauge put up a bit. Got our guys upgraded a bit. We just really need to start being able to take more units in with us. And then I'm happy to start having a go at these ones. Um, when we've just got an extra, extra one or two units on the table. So, gonna wrap it up there. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, everyone. Leave a like and subscribe if you did. Leave a comment if you didn't. Let us know why. And enjoy the rest of your days. Take care, everyone. See you next time.